Remember, electricity is dangerous and can be fatal. You should be qualified and competent to carry out any electrical work. GFCI Circuit Breaker, which stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. This will look something like this, and depending on the model you buy, you will usually have a pigtail neutral wire connected to it. GFCIs are required on certain circuits where outlets are used for places like kitchens, bathrooms, hot tubs, etc. You should check with the National Electric Code for exact details. The GFCI breaker has both the hot and the neutral flowing through it. This way you can measure the current flowing through both wires and ensure they are equal. If we took a standard outlet, we would take a hot wire from the breaker and connect this to the outlet terminal. Then we take the neutral wire and run this back directly to the circuit breaker to a specific neutral terminal. We then connect the pigtail wire into the neutral bus bar. This will provide the return path. And of course, we run the ground wire from the outlet back to the neutral ground bar. If we look at this example, the current is flowing normally until the guy sticks a screwdriver into the socket. The electricity then flows through him instead of the neutral wire. The GFCI is measuring the current in the two wires and notices that these are not equal. It then automatically trips the breaker to cut the power and save the man's life. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but if you want to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as theengineeringmindset.com.